The appearance of China's Type 055 Super Destroyer, Nanshang, near Okinawa has sparked global attention, not because of tensions, but because this vessel represents a new level of maritime capability. Its design, sensors, and long-range systems show how quickly surface technology is evolving. In this video, we explore what makes the Type 055 so advanced and what its presence signals for the future of ocean-based operations. The standout feature of the Type 055 Nanchang is its ability to carry an exceptionally wide range of systems that allow it to support operations across vast areas. It houses 112 vertical launch cells, a number rarely seen on vessels of similar size, enabling flexible mission profiles without relying on external support. Each cell can hold various system types, from extended reach surface systems to area coverage guidance units giving planners versatile options for configuring the ship depending on the assignment while maintaining impressive onboard adaptability for different scenarios and diverse operational needs, especially during extended deployments across dynamic maritime environments. One of the most discussed systems is the HHQ-9B, a next-generation guidance system designed for elevated altitude coverage with a reported reach of around 300 kilometers. This extended range allows the Nanchang to supervise large sections of sky or sea space, and when paired with its advanced radar suite, it becomes capable of identifying, tracking, and managing distant elements long before they approach sensitive areas. The presence of such systems means the ship can maintain situational stability for entire groups, including carriers and support ships. Another key technology often mentioned in public sources is the YJ-21, a high-speed, long-distance system designed to reach targets at extraordinary velocity. Analysts note its performance characteristics, including speeds reported, provide response capability that is exceptionally difficult to counter. With the ability to travel to extended ranges, this technology elevates the Nanchang from a traditional multi-role ship to something closer to a flexible regional asset, capable of shaping the environment far beyond the visible horizon. What makes this platform especially noteworthy is how all these systems fit into a single coordinated structure. The ship's layout supports rapid adjustments, strategic flexibility, and long-duration missions without constant assistance from shore installations. While the Type 055 is widely recognized for its impressive systems, its true strength is anchored in something less visible, its sensor and detection architecture. The Nanchang integrates a dual-band radar suite. This approach mirrors advanced concepts previously explored in Western designs, such as the SPY, 3-slash-SPY, 4 combination intended for the Zumwalt class. Although that system never fully matured in the United States, China incorporated a comparable design directly into the Type 055. This dual-band architecture allows the ship to maintain continuous awareness of its surroundings across multiple ranges and altitudes. Radars specialize in long-distance detection with a wide field of view, ideal for identifying objects at far-reaching ranges. Radars, meanwhile, excel in high-resolution tracking, enabling precise classification once an object is detected. By merging both capabilities, Nanchang gains a layered understanding of its environment, something analysts view as a major differentiator compared to traditional single-band systems. Beyond radar, the ship features an array of electronic support measures, optical tracking devices, data fusion processors, and cooperative communication systems that allow it to coordinate with nearby vessels and aircraft. This expands its role from a standalone asset to a central information node capable of feeding real-time insights to an entire formation. The ability to share, interpret, and refine data instantly means the Nanchang often acts as the central observer, enhancing performance not only for itself, but also for every platform operating alongside it. This level of sensory integration proved especially noteworthy during its February 2025 Live Fire and Systems demonstration near Australia, where observers noted the ship's stable management of air and surface tracking tasks across a wide area. Even operating without a large escort, the Nanchang maintained control over its surveillance environment, underscoring how its sensor package can independently manage extensive ocean regions. 
By combining high-resolution tracking, extended range detection, and powerful data processing, the Type 055 gains a situational perspective normally reserved for much larger command platforms. This allows it to anticipate changes, support other vessels with early insights, and sustain awareness even in areas with heavy activity. The Nanchang's recent presence near Okinawa drew attention not because of confrontation, but because it represents a shift in how modern nations showcase capability and operational maturity. This region hosts some of the most closely monitored sea lanes on Earth, and the addition of a Type 055 to any formation instantly elevates the profile of that group. When operating with the Liaoning aircraft carrier, now flying upgraded J-15B fighters and J-15D electronic support variants, the Nanchang becomes a core element of a highly coordinated maritime team. Its ability to oversee large zones, support air operations, and reinforce guidance networks gives the carrier group greater resilience and flexibility. The ship's long-range capabilities allow it to extend the group's awareness envelope, detect changes earlier, and offer stable support to moving aircraft. With multiple Type 052D destroyers often accompanying the group, the Type 055 assumes a supervisory role, combining data from all ships to form a unified operational picture. For regional observers, this deployment highlights China's evolving approach to sustained blue water activity. The Type 055 is not a coastal asset. It was designed to operate comfortably in distant waters, maintain extended missions, and integrate with advanced aviation platforms. Its displacement of 13,000 tons places it closer to a cruiser than a traditional destroyer, signaling the intention to field vessels capable of long-term presence far from home ports. The Nanchang's role near Okinawa also underscores how nations increasingly use advanced platforms to demonstrate technological maturity, confidence, and readiness for extended operations. Instead of relying on older vessels to lead formations, Modern groups now use next-generation ships like the Type 055 to anchor their presence. This shift indicates that naval strategy is transitioning toward information-centric formations, where awareness, communication, and extended reach matter more than raw size alone. The deployment also serves as a reminder of how quickly global maritime technology is advancing. Ten years ago, ships with Type 055 level specifications were extremely rare. Today, several units of this class are already active, with more under construction. Their increasing presence signals how future operations, whether cooperative exercises, long-range patrols, or presence missions, will rely heavily on platforms that combine reach, awareness, endurance, and adaptability. The Nanchang's appearance near Okinawa isn't simply a regional event. It's a sign of how modern surface platforms are transforming maritime operations. With its extended range systems, advanced sensor suite, and ability to anchor entire formations, the Type 055 represents a new model for ocean-going capability. It demonstrates how nations are shifting toward information-driven vessels that can supervise vast areas, support aviation groups, and sustain flexible missions with consistent reliability. As more ships of this class enter service, the global maritime landscape will continue evolving shaped by vessels designed for awareness, precision, and long-range coordination. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.